working with all of the technology that you've seen here this morning is more than just accessing an API. It's about using a great SDK. It's about having a fantastic developer experience. And so with that, last week, we released the ArcGIS developer program. For those of you who have an account on the developer's site, congratulations. You're already a member of the program. And for those who don't, you can go to the developer's site today and sign up for free. The program itself gives you access to tooling, software, and technology to help you be productive and successful when developing with the ArcGIS platform. You'll get access to our client APIs, the web, native, and scripting APIs. You'll have credits to work with ArcGIS Online Services, a large GIS developer community that you can communicate with via Slack or GitHub, early access to beta software, and of course, conceptual and API documentation, and a huge library of samples. The software and the tooling is delivered to you through a new ArcGIS developer subscription. We've taken the best of EDN, the Esri Developer Network subscription, and the existing subscriptions on our developer site, and we've put them together in one unified experience. The subscription itself has plans tailored to what you do. So let's take a look at them. The Essentials Plan gives you the APIs and SDKs so that you can build your applications. The Builder Plan gives you tools that make cross-platform app development easier. The Professional Plan allows you to extend the platform, either through SOIs and SOEs in ArcGIS Enterprise, or through add-ins and configurations in ArcGIS Pro, for example. The Premium Plan gives you access to advanced data management. And the Enterprise Plan is all of our software and tooling, the complete ArcGIS platform. The Enterprise Plan also includes a Dev Summit registration of your choice. You can choose Palm Springs, you can choose our Dev Summit in Europe, or our Dev Summit in Washington, DC. So, for those of you who have an EDN subscription and the desktop advanced add-on, you will roll over to the Enterprise Plan and get your uh, Dev Summit registration. How is that? Is that all right? Yeah? Also, for EDN subscribers, the software that you're currently using through the EDN subscription remains uninterrupted. You don't have to relicense anything. You just keep using the software as you currently are. Your start and end terms remain the same. However, you will get more software and tooling. All you need to do is activate your new subscription. And that's the new ArcGIS developer program. Also last week, we made some uh, updates to the developer's site. And one of the more, uh, well, I'm most excited about this particular update. We call it DevLabs. DevLabs take you from visiting the website to being productive in 15 minutes or less. So it's great for the developer who's new to the ArcGIS platform, or perhaps an ArcGIS analyst who needs to wear many hats, including developer. And it's also valuable to the developer who's been using the platform for some time. They'll get a kickstart in their application development, and they'll get to see best patterns and practices. The DevLabs paradigm focuses on the pattern of data, design, and develop. Data is all about preparing your data. You could be preparing it for offline use. You might be importing your data. You could be creating a new data set. Each lab has very succinct steps that give you just the information you need to get the job done. I can use the data that comes with the lab, or I can, uh, I can use my own data. Design is all about authoring your maps and scenes, but it's also about styling your vector layers and configuring pop-ups. So you're designing the experience your user has with the map. And finally, develop, as the name suggests, gives you coding and samples to implement some of the more common capabilities, like accessing a map, adding a layer, taking data offline, creating graphics. And it doesn't matter if I'm a web developer or a native developer. 
I've got all of the labs here for me at my fingertips. 